hello friends how do you hope you are fine so in the previous video you can see we done with this medical info form we will be able to like save all the medicines and search all the medicines okay so now it's time to work with a checkup menu okay so one thing we need to modify we ha you have to open your billing info form okay so here uh, we have to store all the data in a file okay so that's why we need to convert this one it into integers okay so type in teacher and medicines id okay so refactor this name to and rename it to medicine ID okay same like that you have to convert this one into int okay and refactor this name to patient ID okay so done So set this one to 0 and remove these 4 functions ok. So click alt and insert or simply click uh, right click and insert code ok. So getters and setters so select these both ok and click generate. you can see we will be able to set the patient and get the patient id but here we need to return the array list okay so here i simply pass an integer and here we need to call a function dot add and this id okay So we have done with this billing info class. Now we need to like when you control as uh, this error score. Okay. So click here and create a new JFrame farm and name it as checkup. Okay. Checkup and click finish so take a panel put on the top and adjust to the size of this farm open properties set the color to white ok close so take a label from here and put it here properties set the text to null so here we need to set an icon ok so which icon check up icon ok close so copy this this and this button type control C and here type control V take this one and put it here also this one ok so edit text and type checkup men so what we have to do here we have to take a panel 
then put it here okay so change the background color to white so now take a text field okay edit text and type patient id open properties and make 14 and bold okay so take a text field where the doctor entered the patient id okay so edit text to null and make it 12 and bold okay okay close it so patient id and one more thing we need to add medicines okay so what we have to do we have to take label and edit text medicines ok and make it 14 bold 14 and bold ok close So here we have to take a combo box where we display all our medicines ok properties 12 bold Okay, close. So here we need a text area, okay? and take one button and put it here so edit text to add medicine ok properties ok 18 bold okay close so now you can see uh, when that uh, when doctor click co select any medicine from here okay and click on add medicine so the uh, medicine added to this medicine list okay so what we have to do simply duplicate this one okay control d to duplicate put it here put it here okay so you have to name it as medicines list okay
okay and here you can see what are the more let me check the more properties of filling in class recommendation date and fee okay so we have to take uh, date menu uh, like uh, from computer at runtime so it's not uh, taken from user okay but we have to take like uh, current fee and recommendation okay so duplicate this one this is the problem in admin when you duplicate all the other interface exchange so here we have to edit text and see okay so one more thing uh, that I have to do here we have to add the recommendation okay so take a text area and put it here like that adjust its size like that okay so take a label and put here and the text and type recommendation okay also make it 14 bold okay 14 and bold okay close so now you can see with the uh, done with this checkup menu We need to little adjust this one. Okay. So I have to add a button. And add it text to. Save. Okay. Open properties and make 18 bold ok and select the color to green uh, the color that you want ok close so now you can see first of all user have to select uh, all the medicines are uh, available in this drop down menu ok so user have to select ok like uh, which uh, medicine he wanna recommend to that particular patient so when he click on add medicine uh, the me medicine added to that particular medicine list ok and here he write the recommendation to the user so that's done with this form So in the next video, I will show you how you can implement this form, okay, and process data. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe my channel for more informative videos.